hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to cover a very important topic counters in digital electronics if you want to watch this video in hindi please refer to the link in the description i have covered the same topic in hindi also if you are completely new to this topic this video is for you because i know you have lots of confusion what is n bit counter what is mod n counter then what is difference between synchronous and asynchronous okay so in exams you are going to get such types of question design synchronous 3 bit up counter now i am going to break it down and explain each term like what is synchronous and asynchronous then what is 3 bit once you understand what is 3 bit what is 4 bit then you can easily solve such types of questions okay so let's start so let's start with the definition of counter okay now textbook definition is over here you can read it a digital counter is a set of flip flops whose states change in response to pulses applied at input okay now it's simple that it's a circuit it's a set of flip flops whose states are going to change in response to what in response to pulses applied at the input okay so in short your counter is going to count pulses simple so counter is used widely i have listed some applications over here digital watches to create time delays frequency divider etc now this is generic definition now let's talk in terms of digital electronics in digital electronics if i talk about n bit counter it will have n flip flops and 2 raised to n states now you already know the context of bit okay if i say 2 bit you already know that it is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay so 2 bits have 0 1 2 3 four states okay so 2 raised to n means 2 raised to 2 equal to four states and how many flip flops it will need it will need n means two flip flops okay means two bit counter can be implemented with two flip flops and it will generate four states 0 1 2 and 3 okay simple what are states in counter states means 0 1 2 3 r it states okay if i talk in binary 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 are its states okay now look at the last sentence it divides input frequency by 2 raised to n now what does it mean 2 raised to n means what 4 over here okay means 2 bit counter will divide your frequency by 4 okay means suppose your frequency input frequency is 40 kilohertz and then i apply to 2 bit counter 2 bit counter means 2 raised to n means 4 means it will divide it by 4 and you will get 10k at output okay so you have to keep this simple rule in mind suppose you have 3 bit counter okay 3 bit counter will have three flip flops 2 raised to n means 2 raised to 3 equal to eight states okay eight states means it will count from 0 1 2 till 7 and it will divide input frequency by 8 okay simple now why this is very important because this is the first step to design any counter you need to know what state that counter will generate okay then you have to draw state diagram in first step like 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay so this is my state diagram so state diagram shows that what is previous state and what is next state for that counter okay now what is mod n counter you will hear this mod word many times it's nothing it's simple if two bit counter we take it will have four states we will call it mod four counter that's it so suppose i take three bit counter it will have eight states so i will call it mod eight counter so mod and n n is number of states okay so whatever number you put after mod it is number of states now this mod can be anything okay mod 5 suppose they give in exam if they ask you to implement mod 5 counter then you will design a counter which will have 
states 0001, 1011 and 100. Okay. So five states it has. So it can be anything mod 5, mod 9, mod 11. Okay. Any type of counter you can design. It's not always 4, 8, 16. No. Any type of counter you can design. So if we deep dive little bit in this mod, so mod is nothing but modulus, okay? And modulus means number of states. Okay, now the next topic is how to decide number of flip-flops. Now we know that for 3-bit, we use 3 flip-flops, okay? We just saw that n-bit counter, n flip-flops. But what if they give you in terms of mod? What if they tell design for mod 9, then how will you find? Then for that you have to use this formula. Okay. In this formula, n is number of states, capital N is number of states, small n is number of flip-flops. Okay. Now let's take one simple example. I want to design for mod 4. Okay. Now I have now I want to find out how many flip-flops I will need to implement mod 4. So I will put capital N means number of states over here, greater than equal to 2 raised to N. Now it's simple N is 2. Okay, then I will use 2 flip-flops, simple. Now what if there is mod 5? Okay, now states are 5. Now I cannot have N equal to 2 because 2 raised to 2 is 4 and 4 is not greater than 5. So I will have N equal to 3. So 2 raised to n means 8 is greater than 5. Okay. So number of flip-flops over here is 3. 3 flip-flops will be needed to design mod 5 counter. Okay. In this way, you will find how many flip-flops to use in a design question. Okay. Clear? Now let's jump to very important topic. Synchronous counters and asynchronous counters. Okay. Let's start with synchronous counters first. So it's very simple. In synchronous counters, by name only you are getting the vibe of it. They all are in sync. Okay. They all are in a control of one clock. Okay. This is my clock and I am giving same clock to all flip-flops. Means my all flip-flops, counter is nothing but set of flip-flops, right? So my all flip-flops are triggered simultaneously, are clocked simultaneously at the same time, okay? And in asynchronous counters, clock is given to only first flip-flop, okay? This is my clock, I gave it to first flip-flop. Now, the output of first flip-flop, okay? This is like, suppose this is JK, Q1, Q bar. So Q is going to drive the clock of second flip-flop. Understanding? So, output of second flip-flop will drive the clock of third flip-flop and so on. Okay? So, to summarize, in synchronous, all the flip-flops are clocked simultaneously and in asynchronous, all the flip-flops are not triggered simultaneously. Clock is given to first flip-flop and then output of first flip-flop drives the clock of second flip-flop and so on. Now, let's see some more pointers. So, in synchronous counter, the design and implementation becomes more tedious and complex as the number of states increases, okay? But they are high speed because they are clocked simultaneously, okay? So, they are very high speed. But in terms of asynchronous counter, the design and implementation is very simple, but they are low speed because flip-flop number two has to wait till my flip-flop one gives the output to its clock. Likewise, my flip-flop 3 has to wait till my flip-flop 2 gives his clock. Okay. So, that's why they are low speed. Now, this is the small concept around cascading of ripple counters. Now, ripple counter means asynchronous counters only. Okay. Now, if you cascade, if you combine mod 10 and mod 6, it will multiply it means 10 into 6 equal to 60. So, it will give you mod 60 counter. Okay, means M into N gives you MN, simple, okay. Now, if I talk about types of counters, there are mainly three counters, up, down and up, down, both, 
okay so up counters will count from 0 to suppose like 0 to 3 0 to 5 like that and down counter will count from maximum value to 0 okay like 3 to 1 0 and up down counters will count from both directions so they have that control input which decides the counter will work in up or down okay so these three types of counters are available in the digital electronics now in question if you have been given uh, use negative edge triggered flip flops like design negative edge triggered three bit counter so what is negative edge triggered over here if nothing is mentioned in the question we generally use negative edge triggered only okay so there are two types of triggering negative edge triggered and positive edge triggered so we are going to quickly cover that now in negative edge triggered when your pulse goes from high to low then at this negative edge when it is going from 1 to 0 then your flip flop will change the output okay so at every negative edge it is changing the output simple in positive edge triggering flip flop will change the output at positive going edge so this is your clock and at every positive edge of that clock pulse your flip flop is changing the output so generally we use negative edge triggered flip flops which changes the state when negative edge of clock pulse arrives okay when the clock pulse goes from 1 to 0 from high to low okay this is called negative edge triggered and how do we show that my flip flop is negative edge triggered by this sign and how do we show positive edge triggered we do not use bubble okay simple so we covered everything basic okay now we are good to go ahead and learn about steps to design counters okay now we understood basic theory what is synchronous what is asynchronous what is 3 bit what is mod n okay now we will study the steps in next video we will compare the steps of synchronous counter and asynchronous counter okay so that's all about counters in digital electronics i hope you have got clarity around these terminologies okay so that's all about this video we will meet in the next video if you have liked this video press the like button subscribe to my channel and share this whole playlist with your friends thank you